Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of Dark Souls the card game, so let's get into it. Alright guys, well now that we've got the game out, let's jump in and see what's inside. So, Dark Souls the card game seems like it's going to be similar to a deck building game in a sense, but your deck pretty much evolves as you play. So again, the Dark Souls game is a action RPG with a very high level of difficulty. And again, you start off with your base character and as you kill enemies, you get souls and then you'll use those to be able to increase your character stats, improve your weapons and more. And then again, you move throughout the connected world to fight various bosses, but then also heal yourself at different campfires or by using Estus flasks. So I think it might be the same type of scenario playing through the Dark Souls card game where you'll face off against various bosses, enemy encounters, all while improving your deck as you play and go along. So I'm definitely excited to check out and play this game. Looks like it's got some cool pieces and artworks here. Souls token, different weapons here. Same type of thing on the back here as well. So you've got various play mats almost that you can put your cards on. These might be different boss encounters as well, potentially, from the looks of it. Again, more aspects of the game. Dark Souls card game. So that's cool. Now the first Dark Souls I played was the Dark Souls Remastered on Switch. So I'm not sure how this will compare. I'm excited to check it out and see how it plays. So again, I'm not sure if these are different characters you potentially encounter. It looks like you've got different weapons, perhaps, that you can equip and use. Talisman cards, different armor you find, just like in the game here. Stamina points. These probably enhance your base character stats, making them more powerful. Strength here, it looks like. Not sure what this one is. Got some remnant of humanity. So again, in the game, it often made you more powerful and changed you back into a human, which is cool. So maybe the more that you get of these, the stronger it looks like you can get. You draw a card in this case though. Again, this gives you the different reference cards for each one of the players. Cool. Looks like we got more weapons here. Morning Star, Sorcerer Staff, Rapiers, Longbow, Fireball Spell. That's one thing that was pretty cool with this game is each one of the weapons spells kind of gave you a unique play style as you went through. Some types of armor were pretty heavy. It made it hard to move and get around, but then they obviously gave you a lot more defense. Or again, different kind of combinations depending on the type of weapon that you were wielding. So that's pretty cool. It's like they include Again, all the items and souls and gems that you can find here, like you found in the original game. So that's definitely cool. Armor of the Sun, nice. It looks like you've got different locations that you go through. So again, not sure how these work. If they add enemies, make it stronger allow you to use the bonfires. Again, not exactly sure, but looks like you've got every location from the game, so definitely really cool. Bring back some memories here from playing the game. Uh, here we go, here's some of the bonfires. Nice. Looks like these might be some of the enemies now. 
hollow soldiers, spearmen, assassins. Again, definitely remember encountering some of these guys as I went through to play. Some more terrifying than others, to say the least. But again, I like that you can play through and fight all the classic monsters and enemies from the Souls game here. Looks like some of them might have different weapon strengths or weaknesses potentially. Not sure how the game works yet at this point, but we've got the different types of weapon symbols in the corner there. So maybe these give you different soul amounts it looks like in the top right there. And these ones must be bosses here. So that's cool. Looks like there's even different versions of bosses from what I can tell. Maybe these are moves that you get now that I'm looking saying slashes, thrusts, any different abilities that you can learn for your character, or maybe abilities that the monsters have, perhaps as well, that you'll have to counter and parry and dodge. Definitely looks like an in-depth game, to say the least. Again, looks like maybe more enemies that you'll face. Now more weapons here. Night armor, stamina, maybe stats again that you can improve your character with. More weapons here, mail breaker, leather shields, sorcerer robes, stamina again. More weapons. Graphics right out of the game here again. More stamina. That's about it for that deck. Again, here's some more cards, kind of split cards. Maybe you can choose how you want to level up when you draw these, looks like. Different types of combo, stat increases, ability increases. I think that might be what this whole deck is for the most part. Cool. Well, again, guys, that wraps up our unboxing of Dark Souls, the card game. And if you guys would like to pick up a copy of the game, there'll be links in the description below where you can do so as well. But definitely stay tuned for a future video where we run through how the game works and my final thoughts of the game once we've had some time to play it. Well, again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing of Dark Souls, the card game. If you did, be sure to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. And if you'd like to pick up a copy of this game, there'll be a link in the description below where you can do so. And if you'd like to help support the channel, pick out content and more, become a patron of ours at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And if you'd like to plug into our live streams and Let's Plays we do on the channel, you can follow us on Twitch at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. But once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you more soon.